Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna look at how to sing Sam Smith's writings on the wall. The first three things that you need are good breath management, muscular activity, diaphragmatic support to hold those amazing high notes, and number three, your head voice. You're new to this channel, a like and a subscription would make me the happiest teacher in the world. Of course, if you want to look for singing lessons, then please don't hesitate. Look over to tanyalevyvocalstudio.com, giving lessons worldwide and also singing analysis. Let's just dive straight right into it. I've been here before But always hit at the floor I spent a lifetime running And I always got away But with you I'm feeling something That makes me want to stay now what happens here basically, I'm just like kind of rushing singing it through, not with full capacity because it's not about me today, it's about you. Now the good advantage of this song is that you have the possibilities to sing in long phrases, right? It's, it, has, it doesn't have so much di dynamic like other songs where you are forced, you know, to have a tempo, to keep up a certain tempo, but here before floor you have possibilities to really hold that and then you know phrase sing that phrase with a little bit of a vibrato if you want now he is going into half voice quite early i haven't done that so far let me do it for you spend a lifetime running and i always get away now here he has this soft break into his head voice. Of course, you can do that if you're if you're male. If you're female, you probably still can't go through with your chest voice here. Now, don't push to go into your head voice because it's still very low, and you really want to have a smooth and soft transition. One big thing about your head voice is if you're not practicing your head voice, it's still gonna sound weak. That C A muscle, that cry quite muscle, is still gonna be weak. So you have to practice your head voice in order, especially for those songs like Sam Smith, James Arthur, they use it frequently, yeah? So make sure that you focus on that as well. Now the second part is pretty repetitive, yeah? I'm prepared for this, never shoot to me. There is a small riff going on. Now you can do it, but you don't have to. Now he has difficulties with using a riff then just find out what are the notes involved in that riff and slow it down. Now YouTube has an option where you can slow down that video so you can actually hear, try out to hear what for notes he's using to do that riff. That's not really a run, it's really a riff including like three cup, couple of um, three um, notes that he's doing. So find out what are the notes, try to slow that, that video down and then you're gonna practice it. First slowly until you're just flexible enough with your larynx, you're just flexible enough to move that fast to make that riff. If I gonna make it through the day then there's no more use in running this is something I've got to face. Now it's phase. We don't sing the songs again. We don't sing the words like we speak them. We don't speak the words like we sing them. So it's a phase with an A, but we are more likely to go and change into an E. Phase. It's still very soft. If I risk it all. Now you have a really nice all there again. I love the O, I love that grip that you have there and you can really power it through, it's still comfortable enough, um, you know, it's still comfortable, it's getting higher there. <laughs> then the same, could you break my fall? Now and there comes that break into head voice where many people find it uncomfortable because that they see their head voice is really really weak. Now I would still go and do it and practice it. How do I live? How do I breathe? 
When you're not here, I'm suffocating. I want to feel love run through my blood. Now, if people have the feeling that they want to push through, and I just want to show you how it might sound if you push through when it maybe is not the right opportunity to push through. How do I live? How do I breathe? When you're not here, I'm suffocating. You know, it's a little bit too aggressive where it maybe should not be. So there is a sense. Uh, there is an idea behind that song, right? And that is just to really willingly go into your head voice. And as you hear, I'm pushing through and it doesn't sound pleasing at all, right? So please, if you have that feeling, still do it. Work it out, work it through. And then comes that part where many people feel that struggle and that's that really high note. So, for you, I have to risk it all. And that is that all. Which it's definitely kind of, it's a bright eye. Uh, oh, I'm forming within that vowel. Feel, I have to risk it all. Now, make sure that you have a really nice global onset, that you have a really nice vocal closure coming together. Because what we don't want to do here is have a lot of air pushing through where it's not needed, it's going to be heavy for your vocal folds. See, I'm trying to have that low onset. It's gonna be loud, yeah? And try to make sure that you have your diaphragm working for you at the moment. So let me just rise up, yeah? And then show you what happens actually here with my tummy when I'm doing it. You see, yeah, I'm not pregnant, don't worry about it. For you, for you. goes inside for you okay so that it's still a little bit high try out those training exercises like nay 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 or nya 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 you could also change the the consonant and then go from a g if you feel that you might need more vocal closure you need that that extra give it a b or a g or a d yeah get up now we have a quite a bit jump here so you can also use the rubber band if you want and then lift up with that rubber band so the rub, rub, that you feel that muscular activity from your diaphragm and your core muscles, your back muscles. So again, feel you, I have to risk it all. And if you're really cool, like super cool, try to make it on one breath because the longer your vocal folds have contact with each other, the better, the better the sound is going to be. And you don't need a lot of air when it comes to high notes. Please have it in mind, you don't need a lot of air. Now the other thing is, we want to have a really, really long wall. For you, I'll have to risk it all. And that is something that has to do with breath management. So go and check out my breath exercises that I have here on the channel as well. So you make sure that you have a good, steady, stable breath there. Cause the writing's on the wall. And then you have that last phrase. Cause the writing's on the wall. Of course, the higher we go, the more difficult uh, it, it, it gets. Because it's a lot of activity going on in your, you know, your vocal folds tense up, get shortened, and there's a lot of muscle, muscular activity going on, and it's difficult for 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 the vocal folds. And it depends on um, how is your posture, how is your breath, do you have any sort of technique? I would really highly recommend you to start to stand singing because it really has something to do with a good posture as well. That's why I always recommend that book, Complete Vocal, uh, vocal Fitness, Vocal Fitness here. So really have that in mind. Everyone should have this on the wall hanging. Probably will print that one out here. So that's how you should not be. You should be standing in a good alignment, yeah? I hope that you enjoyed my tips and tricks on how to conquer that song. And let me know in the comment section what you would like to see next on this series. So please no reaction videos. It's just a clean technical series on what you want to see next. And big kisses from the human Singapore. I see you on Instagram or I see you on another video. Please stay tuned to see this amazing two videos where I'm working with my student and here is another tutorial for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.